Team, I love me, me, me. Welcome back to day number 19 of Vlogmas. Stay tuned for the question of the day. Family, welcome back. So let me just say, if this is your very first time finding one of my videos, welcome to I Love Me, Me, Me. So now, down in the description box below is a playlist of all of the questions that I have been answering for the month of December. I've decided to answer 31 questions. Actually, it's a little bit more, but one question each and every day of the day of December. And that playlist is in the description box below. So go ahead and check out the playlist so you too can catch up on all of the questions that I have already answered. And of course, my answers. The question of the day has come from one of our very own mature ladies who decided to reach out so she can get some information for herself. And, if, and, and her question actually applies Anybody can use this question, really. But so her question is, how can I start dating when I do not know how? So, of course, I have some tips. And today I'm going to give you guys six tips. So let's jump in. So number one is you're already doing it, actually. And this one is just to fall in love with yourself because... Getting into any relationship actually starts with oneself. You have to be in love with yourself. So you have to start with your own relationship with yourself before you can bring anybody into your life. So you are already starting to figure out who you are. You definitely make sure that you just fall in love with who you are as a person, what you actually will bring to the table. Know what you love about you and that will start to shine through. So when that potential party does come, they will be able to see the beautiful side of you. So you are falling in love with yourself. That's number one. Number two, I want you to create an idealistic deal breakers list. Like, um, again, you already said that you're a more mature lady, so you don't want to say that you want somebody in their 20s. That is not part of your deal breakers list. You want it to be something that you can focus on where the guy is bringing something to the table that you can tolerate as a as in any individual really but I'm specifically talking to my young lady who has written in and asked this question um, these are the deal breakers that you are going to be again be able to tolerate in your relationship when so I mentioned in the last video that you know that he will be bringing baggage to the relationship so don't put on your deal breakers list that he can't have any baggage because the older that we get with the more baggage that we will have and especially for like I already mentioned most of the time men do not take care of their baggage and so they bring it into the next relationship and so you want to put some things on your deal breakers list that you know that can be achieved. So whatever those things are, you know, you don't want it to be in a certain, certain age range. You want him to be, maybe you want him to be, even be retired. Maybe you want him to travel a little bit with you. Maybe you want him to be able to get into some of the activities that you want or that you are already involved in. So you want to make sure that you incorporate those things on your deal breakers list. Just make sure that they are goals that you can actually reach and of course that your partner can actually reach once you guys get into this relationship third way to know how to start dating once again is to broaden your social circle you have to be willing to get out of the house you have to be willing to um, put yourself out there honestly i've already mentioned that you can be in any type of the clubs like gardening or book reading or um, wine clubs or any anything like that you have to be willing to broaden your social circle in order to put yourself out there put yourself in situations where these conversations can be flow out so they can flow naturally they're not robotic you're not really feeling like oh my god I'm, I'm going to this to this speed dating event and now you're putting all of this pressure on yourself just keep it at events that you know that you are actually enjoy and that way that pressure that's built up on your shoulders you can now just kind of relax and go with the flow and have an actual have a natural conversation with whomever it is even if you're just practicing having conversations with people of the same sex you can definitely um, take that over into having natural conversations with the opposite sex but just 
don't put the pressure on yourself by trying to go into these social circles where you know nothing about. Start off nice and easy. Start with something that you love to do and then get into that social circle. And as time goes on, then you can broaden your horizons and go into some other things that you don't know anything about. That way you're building up your confidence is what's actually happening. You're building up your confidence in order to... Um, be able to put yourself out there into situations or into clubs or social circles that you have no knowledge of. So start small, start with something that you're already um, accustomed to doing like reading or gardening or whatever it is that you're good at. Find those social circles. You can actually find some of those social, social circles on meetup.com. That's a really good one. Um, most cities have meetup.com and they have a plethora of any and everything that you can think of. Um, as far as your interest on this particular website, you can go in there, sign up for the groups that you want to be a part of. Like I said, start small. So do the things that you know that you're going to actually um, uh, be a part of and show up at those particular events. Put yourself out there. And as time goes on, you're getting more confident. You're getting more comfortable with who you are as an individual. And you can um, now sign up for different things that you just have an interest in, but you never done before. So start small, but build up. Broaden your social circle. That's number three. Or when you're going out on some of the dates and everything, when you're starting to meet these gentlemen, they're interested in you, you're interested in them. Once you actually start to really get down this dating thing, like the, the nerves are starting to relax a little bit more. Make sure that you are asking a lot of qualifying questions, whatever it is that you are specifically looking for in a mate. Those are the questions that you want to make sure that you're asking the guy. And you want to make sure that you pick somebody who is your speed. What I mean by that is if you are a person who likes to travel a lot, you don't want to get a homebody and then the homebody and then basically you're starting arguments because he wants to sit at the house and you want to travel. So if you're a homebody, and I'm not saying it has to be 100% across the board that he has to be a homebody, you have to be a homebody, but you want it to be a nice balance and where it can cut down on some of the unnecessary arguments arguments that one uh, that can occur within relationships so pick somebody that is your speed you know you like to travel like I said let them like to travel homebody be a homebody you like to drink wine or um, liquor or whatever it is you want to go to church whatever it is that is your speed pick somebody that is your speed that literally would cut down on so many arguments. If you're looking to be married, make sure that the person wants to get married. If you're looking to be stay celibate for a little while longer, make sure that he's okay with that. And you know, maybe you never want to have sex again in your life. I have no idea. But here, my point is, you don't want to not have these conversations that are very important to you. And then you get with somebody and now things are going just as crazy as they once did before. The, the, the whole thing that a lot of people miss out on is asking so many questions. You have to ask a multitude of questions when we're getting into these relationships and starting to pick our mates. Continuously ask questions and get to know your partner. Get to know what you like, which is why you have to fall in love with yourself first so you know all of this stuff, so you know what you're bringing to the table. All right, move on. The fifth suggestion that I'll give you is to make sure that you are wearing clothing that you love, that fits you, that makes you feel good, that makes you feel sexy. Sexy. Don't go outside of the box so much that now you're putting on clothing just because you're nervous or you know you want them to like, you want you want to look good or whatever. But if you're not feeling good in this particular article of clothing that you're wearing, everything about you, you're going to be kind of slumped. You're going to be looking around. You might even be doing the, the, the um, unnecessary fidgeting. Put on something where you feel sexy, where you feel that you look good in it no matter where you are going, and then go out on a date in that thing. Because when you wear something that makes you feel sexy, you stand up straighter, you're laughing a little bit more, you feel sexy, you're a little bit more flirty, and that is going to help out with the entire mood of the um, of the date. It's also going to keep you more relaxed. You're going to be ready to be more talkative, and you're not going to feel so nervous or feel like, oh my God, what is he looking at? Is he looking at this outfit? Does it not fit me good? Like you, you, 
a million miles a minute. All of this stuff is running in your head. So put on something that makes you feel sexy. That way it lessens the nerves. You'll be able to receive those compliments and not not like, um, you know, when somebody gives you a compliment, you're like, well, I mean, I just picked this up or, or this is old. Or I mean, it's like we go through a whole multitude of reasons of why we cannot accept that compliment. So be able to accept the compliment. That That's a free bonus. Be able to accept the compliment. When somebody gives you a compliment, just go ahead and say, thank you without giving the backstory or of, you know, I just picked this up or I didn't even iron it. Girl, this is wrinkle. Girl, this is, I mean, you, you know how we do. We can't accept compliments. So that's a free bonus. Accept the compliment to when you're starting to date out. The sixth one that I'm going to give out to you is to update your hair and your makeup. If you have been wearing the same hairstyle for umpteen years, it is now time to update that hairstyle because again, this goes into you feeling sexy about yourself. This also is going to build into your confidence and all of this is going to exude out. Uh, when you do start dating, you'll be able to accept those compliments and you'll be able to feel sexy about who you are and then all of this stuff that you have up in here all of this knowledge that you have up in here you'll be able to share all of this stuff without feeling self-conscious about whatever it is that you're speaking about um, again you're not focusing on what you're wearing because you're wearing something that's making you stand up or sit up tall you're feeling sexy in it you're feeling like yes I got this you can actually hold a conversation you notice you can don't worry about being nervous just put yourself out there get into all of the social circles that that you want to get into again meetup.com is a great way to put yourself into new activities as well as those other things that you love to do and again you will heighten the um, chances of you meeting someone special now are you going to these things especially for meeting someone no, you are not. You are just putting yourself out there in situations to increase your chances of meeting someone. And that one we that way when you guys do meet, you already have something in common. And this is one of the things that we as women can learn from men. They are out there busy living their lives and out there busy doing all of the things that they love to do. And all of a sudden, now they're meeting the woman who happens to love to do some of the things that they're doing. So we could actually take this in as women. Go out there, start living your life while at simultaneously building up your confidence while you're loving yourself and relationships will absolutely follow you. You will be choosing from men if you just love yourself and start to do the things that you love to do. Men will start to show up and you'll have choices. All right, Miss Lady, so hopefully this has helped you out and I will definitely love to see a comment from you just to let me know if I hit the nail on the head, if this is something that you were actually looking for. And of course, if you have another question, you can go ahead and send that in as well. Now, if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 and you want to catch up on all of the questions, you make sure that you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face on it in order to get notified with all of the new videos that are going to be coming you guys way. I will see you guys tomorrow. Do not forget to hit the like button. Mwah.